I am going to give you a super quick tutorial on getting started with Jamboard. So in your Google Drive, you will go to your little checkerboard square over here, and you should search for this icon, Jamboard. If it doesn't show up anywhere in here, it may be because you've not used it yet. So you can also find it by typing in this address up here, just jamboard.google.com. You can find most Google products that way. So in my account, my Jamboard account, I have a couple that I've played with and a few that have been shared with me from teachers. But when you start, you won't have any in there. You just start by creating a new one. Now your main menu is located over here at the three lines. There is a help area, which is fabulous. And then you have some other things over here, like um, if you have some that, uh, just like in anything in your Google Drive, you can search by owned by anyone or owned by someone else. You can organize and sort A to Z. You can change them to this layout, which is kind of cool. So blocks uh, like folders or the long ones. And then you can open a jam that you may have saved this way. But here's how you start one you just click the plus sign. When it opens, it's just a blank slate. Up here at the top, it shows you if it has more than one page. So we only have one page right now. So if I want to add more pages, they will start showing up right here so I can switch between the pages. If I need to zoom in, I can change that just like you would with any document. If I wanna change the background, I will click here and I can change to these different options like dots, ruled paper, squares, graph paper, or colors, and a chalkboard. If I clear frame, it's gonna clear everything off the document. And you don't wanna do that unless you really mean it. So that would be a uh, undo situation if you didn't really want that. So over here on the left are the tools that you can use. So you can use a pen and you can write, which, if we don't have a um, online, I mean, a, a touch screen, or if it's not on a, a big open jam board, which is another product that we don't use all the time, uh, then your writing will look a little bit funny. When you click on the pen, you have options to click on different styles of pen. So you have marker, highlighter, or brush, and then you have these different colors. So if I want to highlight in green, I could use that. I can use a felt tip marker, be a little bit bigger, the pen, a little thinner, not a huge difference. If I wanna paint as if with a brush, and I can do something like that. And if you'll notice, as you do it, it spreads out just a hair, kinda like a, a brush would. If you want to erase, then you click on the eraser and you erase what you've been working on. And again, that's a click and move around on your trackpad. When you click on the arrow, that's a select. So if you had an image or anything on here, you would select with that. The most popular use is sticky notes. You can change the color of the sticky notes and uh, then you can type within them. And then you can move the sticky note around wherever you want, you can make it bigger, you can rotate it, then you can edit, duplicate, or delete it. You can upload an image from all the same places you can for um, any Google product. I am going to insert my emoji. And so if you were working with students and you wanted them to submit something, they could just upload an image, a picture of whatever they're working on or you can um, insert an image and have them analyze it, have them discuss it. And then you have a laser if you want to um, like make this fancy little motion here. And you mainly do that if you're screen sharing. So I would maybe select that as I'm showing you right now that over here are where all our tools are and right here is where um, my text is. Then anytime you want to get off of that, you click the arrow. So this is just a quick version. 
and anything else that um, you can do with it will be linked below in the additional resources.